So we're going to use the four-step solving process. For the state step, we wish to test the following hypotheses at the alpha equals 0.05 level. So the null hypothesis is that p equals 0.85, and the alternative hypothesis is p is not equal to 0.085. This is called a two-sided hypothesis test, because we're interested in if p is greater than 0.85 or less than 0.85. We also need to define p, so we'll say where p is the true annual survival rate of adult male brown bears on Kodiak Island. For the plan step, we'll note that since the conditions for inference have been met, the biologist's 95% confidence interval corresponds with our two-sided significance test at the alpha equals 0.05 level. So in the do step, let's report the biologist's confidence interval. The 95% confidence interval for P is 0.61 to 0.81. Notice 0.85 is not in our confidence interval, so let's conclude. Since the 95% confidence interval does not contain 0.85, we reject the null hypothesis. There is sufficient evidence to support the claim that the true annual survival rate of adult male brown bears on Kodiak Island is not 0.85. Part B is different. Since 0.85 is contained in the interval, it is a feasible value for the true annual survival rate. So in this case, we have to say there is insufficient evidence to conclude the survival rate of adult male brown bears on Kodiak Island is different than 0.85. If you want to learn more about significance tests, check out this playlist. It starts with the basics and builds all the way to videos like this. It's great for preparing for the AP stats exam.